Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to Owl Chemical Architecture. How is everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a grand old day. Look at that. I've been doing some work on our house and uh, <laughs> I really like it. Um, I've not finished it yet. You can see I've got a hole, but uh, just, just doing this bit took quite a, a long time. I had to keep um, I had to keep checking my work, and I also, I also noticed that uh, these purple slate shingles here. So if we if we look, they're on this on this level here now. If we go around the side, <laughs> one lower. So I don't know how I've done that. I don't understand. That doesn't really oh, that doesn't really make sense to me. But uh, but there we go. So I'm gonna keep working on um. On the house here and there in between stuff but yeah we'll, we'll hopefully hopefully be able to move into it soon Um, it's taken me way longer than it should have but you know what I tell you what now that I can fly thanks to the monk mod which we uh, which we finished our last episode it is uh, it is a huge amount easier but anyway today I would like to have a look at one of the newer magic mods that I've well it's not that new but it's it's new to me. It's new to me. So it's Electro Blobs Wizardry, uh, and we're gonna have a look at this. And um, basically, it's you, you. There's loads of spells, loads of spells, and you can. I think you can craft your own spells, and you've got wands to you know do them, and we've got scrolls, and there is like wizard robe type things. So I'm interested in how this works, and I think one of the first things we need to do is. Craft a wizard's handbook. So you can see it's a book and these magic crystals. Which you can um I think you can mainly get ah there you go. Um there's a lot of crystal flowers, but there's also blocks of crystal and the crystal ore. So I don't know. I don't know if I found uh, yeah, I have found a fair amount of that, I think. I think we've got a fair amount of crystals. I've been I've been uh I've been gathering them uh, when and if needed. Oh, and that's now gone. Uh Elec hand. There we go. Can I make one? I can't. No. No, I have not got the book things. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Boom. We've got a wizard's handbook. Excellent stuff. Let's have a look. The wizard's handbook by Electro Blob. Greetings, wizard. This book explains the many ways of the arcane and how to use them. Should you ever lose this book, you can get a new one by crafting a book with a magic crystal. Well, there we go. So the setting up uh, a magic wand, gold nugget, a stick, and a magic crystal. Excellent. An arcane workbench. Okay. A spell book. Yeah, I've I've seen some spell books, and you also need a bunch more magic crystals. Okay. Well, we can uh, we can start working on all of that stuff. So a wand. Um, I'm guessing it's that one. Yeah. There we go. We've got a wand. Boom. Current spell empty slot. Okay. Um, we need the arcane workbench. Arcane, there it is. I'm guessing. Yep. So what is that? Stone, lapis. What? What do we have? Almost everything. I'm guessing we've got enough lapis to do that. Yes. And we need purple carpet. Interesting. Interesting. Do I have any purple dye? Don't think so. Can we? Yeah, we can make it from that, and do we have anything like that? No. Okay. So, uh, oh, arcane initiate, lovely. Uh, I need to find. Oh, look at that. I don't need to find. Look at that. You will do quite nicely because, bam, we can do that. Uh, there we go. We can do it this way now. So. Let's get some lapis. Where are you? There we go. Have I? Is that all the lapis that I have? <gasps> really? I would have thought I had a lot more. Purple dye. And we need wool. Do I have wool? I totally have wool. There we go. Right. So uh, we need two, don't we? Because we need the carpets. There we go. Now that. Bam. Arcane workbench. There we go. Lovely stuff. Uh, we also needed a spell book, it said. Do we have some in here somewhere? Yeah, look at that. We've got a few. Apprentice. Adv oh, no. 
advanced, advanced, apprentice, novice, advanced. Okay, well, let's just take those. Let's chuck all of you back and let us see. I don't know where to put this. I suppose let's put it next to our, our blood altar, maybe. Let's actually, let's just put it here for now. And we, we are going to start building some some more things, some more like a nicer things for our setups. But um, I sort of want to get some of the basics done for the magic first. Oh, okay. Look at that. Ah, we need some crystals as well. Let's get some of those. Because some of these mods, I, it's, I think it's hard to build a lot of the time if you don't know exactly what you need. Like, for instance, I know with... The blood altar, for instance, I know that to upgrade it, I'm going to need to build further down uh, to expand it. But I know that, so that's okay. So I felt I felt comfortable in placing this here. But for instance, this, I I don't know exactly how you know how it was going to work. Um, have I not got my? Oh, where's my sleeping bag? Let's let's see what happened. Uh, there it is. What? Three walls. Three walls, we can do that. There we go. Let's get one again. Let us... Oh, hey. Ow. Vampire bat. See our judgment. Yeah, look at that. Excellent stuff. We we killed the bat with our stare. I like that. I like that a lot, in fact. There we go. Right. Oh, it's this. It's this. It's okay. We're, we're fine. Right. Let us... Arcane workbench, so I presume we can do that. And then... Oh, yeah, ooh, look at that. Oh, that's a bit annoying that that sort of changes the position. Oh, why, why couldn't that just... Why couldn't that just open up on that side? That's a weird thing. Um, And then it said spell books, but I don't know... What's the novice one? The last one that I check, of course. Um... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how... How that... Does that stay in? Yes. It looks like it would stay in. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is nice. Look at that. It hovers. Oh, I rather like that. I rather like that. Um, Let's have a... Uh, a spell book. Yeah. Mana is the magic crystals. That is cool. Wands. Spells. Spells are recorded in two forms, in books which are permanent and in scrolls which are temporary. Spell books are of little use on their own. Instead, they are used to bind the spell they contain to one. Spell books can be found throughout the world and it will not take long for you to come across one. When you do find one, you can mouse over the spell book to see basic information about the spell at a glance. You can also right click whilst holding a spell book to read more de detailed information about it. Ah. Scrolls, uh, let's just leave the scrolls for now. To the entry, I, um, uh, ah, the unreadable runes. In order to identify the spell, you could, of course, cast it and see what happens, though doing so may cause unwanted side effects, and many spells need certain conditions in order to work. A safer and more reliable option is to use a scroll of identification, which can be found in chests or purchased from a wizard. Right clicking whilst holding one will identify the first unknown spell book or ah, okay. Consuming the scroll of identification. Right. Okay. Uh, right, okay, fine. Ah, right. The arcane workbench is a block similar in appearance to the enchantment table where you can charge, upgrade, and bind spells. Simply place it anywhere and right click and you will see a GUI appear like the one to the right, yes. Ah, there you go. To binding spells. To bind a spell to your wand, simply place your wand in the central slot of the workbench, then place the spell book in one of the and press apply. Ah, you can bind up to five spells to a wand at one time, though this may be increased with attunement upgrades. When holding a wand, you can switch between spells with the non and non keys. <laughs> so, so that's clearly I need to assign keys to them, basically. Um, <laughs> the non and non keys. Charging your wand is just with crystals. Upgrading your wand, okay. So, uh, right. So, we might need to go and find ourselves a um, a wizard's tower and maybe try to get an identification scroll. That would be nice. 
Right, we are at a wizard's tower, which is basically just by the village. Let us fly up. Okay, there we go. Hello! Hello, healer! Ah, so a spell book gets us magic crystals. Okay, oh wow. 24 emeralds and 13 crystals. A master spell book. A wand of frost. Okay, that's quite cool. Uh, another spell book. Oh, and that is it. Um... Are these like villagers, or let's try and let's try and buy one and see what happens? Diamond, there we go. Um, and I need more crystals. Do I have more crystals here? Oh yes, I do. Yes, I do. Right. Let's try buying this bad boy then. So one, two, three. That's fairly cheap. One, two, three. There we go. Magic dealing. Yep. Are you? I yes. Oh, and there's an arcane workbench here as well. Look at that. So, have you unlocked more stuff? Oh, uh, you you have. We can just... Oh, it's just a normal magic wand. That's a little bit of a swizz, Mr. Healer person. Um, 12 gold. Do I have 12 gold? Is this a thing that I... I don't think I have much gold. Oh, man, I don't have 12 gold. Well, I either need to find another another magician wizard... Or we need to get some more gold. I'm going to have a look for another wizard. I've been flying around uh, looking for more towers, which I have found. And a lot of, a lot of the evil craft um, temple-y things have more <laughs> more books in. So you can see I've, I've got like some scrolls, some other stuff. A couple of the wizards in towers actually attacked me because apparently some of them are um, are evil, basically. So that was a that was a, a bit of a bust. But what I've now found randomly is a buried treasure map. So I've got a little bit distracted, but I thought we'd um, we'd have a look and see what this is. I have no idea what mod this is from or or anything like that. I don't know if it's. I mean, it feels like it's like here. Yeah, I'd, I'd say about here. Uh, we could maybe do that. Look at that. <gasps> um, I mean, it's just a general treasure thing, isn't it? Uh, what's this? Upgrades any novice wand to apprentice tier. So that's pretty good. I think I found another one. Yeah, there you go. Um, I also find another wand, which was pretty nice. Uh, seeds, more spell books. Uh, poison bomb, which I'm not too bothered about, but more spell books is quite nice. Uh, let's just do that. There we go. Um, I mean, I've got so many spell books now, it is ridiculous. Maybe let's get rid of some of the advanced ones. Dirt we can get rid of. Novice, apprentice, apprentice, advanced. Because I can't use any of the advanced stuff right now anyway. Because I am not advanced. There we go. Let's just at least do that and take all of these. There we go. Well, that was a little bit, a little bit of a detour, but, uh, but pleasing nonetheless. We found some buried treasure. I like that. Where's the exit? What can I get out? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And a is that a a leaf version? I can't actually tell. I don't know what that is. It's just a villager statue, but I can't quite tell what that is made out of. So, I've loaded up these wands with five books each of different spells, and one of them, like you can see, is a magic missile, and uh, I think on this one, if I scroll, yeah, there we go, boom, that does, that does a thing, that does a, oh, there's a, a zomble there, no, a skeleton, dang it. There we go. So that is a thing. Magic missile, not amazing. Oh, thunderbolt. Oh, that's quite cool. <gasps> oh, that's. Oh, I like. I quite like that. I. No, nothing on this one. I don't know what that is. Okay. Also, don't know what this one is. <laughs> oh, that one. So we found thunderbolt. I quite like thunderbolt. Um, let's have a look at our next one. So a lot of these might not work because of the conditions. Oh, summon zombie. Okay. That's that's pretty nice. Um can I can I come down here and do that? Yes, I can. 
That is pretty cool. So summon zombie. I can summon zombie. That's quite nice. Um, not that one. And not, <laughs> not that one. And not that one. Okay, so only summon zombie on that. Man, that is... That is, those aren't, those aren't amazing things. How much does a Thunderbolt take? How much mana? So we've got, what, 605? Um, so 10. That's not too bad. Um, I wonder, I want to see how much damage this does. <laughs> this doesn't look like a lot. At all, in fact. Like, not a lot at all all which is uh, uh it's a bit of a shame i want to see actually if um if this zombie um will attack us because it says yeah it's my zombie look at that how weird is that so it doesn't attack us just by itself it's only when i think we attack oh when we attack it that it might actually get a little bit uh, a little bit feisty with us so that is interesting. I just it would be nice that there was a different way of doing the identification thing. Um, there's yeah, there you go. Identifies an unknown spellbook or scroll, but like literally, it looks like either dungeons or chests or something that you might find this. Have, have we got any scroll? We have got some scrolls, but they're all <laughs> they're all um, unknown things. Let's have a look quickly. Uh, we've got one. Okay, well that is not as good. There you go. Let's let's shove those in there for now. So I'm oh I think I think I might literally be um be full up in my storage as well. So I think looking around for more wizards towers is gonna to be my only only potential chance. I unlocked the villager that we had over here. Uh, not the villager, the the wizard. And um, where are you? There we are. Um, but it didn't seem to unlock past the last, um, the the last uh, whatever it's called, trade. There you go. That's the word. That is the word. Use your word sector. Where are you? Hello, Mr. Healer person. And let's see. Just yeah. Look, it's so it seems to have either stopped or maybe I need to buy another one. But I don't want to keep giving given the healer gold, my precious gold, so I don't know if I need to find more. So I've discovered a way of getting around stuff. So we've got the magic missile, bam, uh, we've got the thunderbolt, and now I've got telekinesis, um, which basically is sort of, well, it's a few different things. If we go to telekinesis, can we... Are you, have I not got any more... Was this no? No, I should be able to do this. Come on. Oh, there we go. It wasn't. It wasn't letting me. Maybe because that was in the way. Let's try that again, from a little bit farther away. No, still not. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it allows you to basically pick something up or perform a right-click action uh, from far away. And basically, the way I've discovered doing like finding these things out. Is I've gone on to the um, the wizardry electro blob wizardry wiki, which I'll link in the description, and I've just been trying to do different things. So another one I've got, <laughs> funny enough, I put two telekinesis on the same one, and I've also got heal as well, which right now I can't perform because I've got full hearts. But that is sort of what I've been doing um, in order to, to figure this out. Uh, so I've got summon zombie here. I've I got another heal another telekinesis, another heal, and I've also got leap. I don't really understand what leap does, uh, other than I can I can do that. I just, I don't, oh, can I maybe, no, I can't, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get what leap does really. That seems, it seems like an odd one to me, leap. Um, But that is obviously, this is, this is the um, novice. So I thought we might try and maybe do like an, an advanced one or what's this this is wand of sparks and yeah so some ones that you you find also have you can see plus 15 lighting lightning potency so i presume and healing potency so i presume if you put if you put those types of spells on there oh there you go so once you've discovered the thing you can actually 
it's always discovered, which is, well, very handy, in fact. And there we go, we've got another summon zombie. So you can start to tailor the ones that you want. And obviously, like, I'd put healing ones on there. That, you know, obviously makes sense. Um, so that's, that's, that's a nice little overlay. Look at that. That's pretty... Pretty lovely. So I thought I'd do the same for maybe an advanced one. I don't know if I've got enough for... Oh, no. Apprentice is the next tier, I believe. And I've got this as well. The one condenser upgrade, uh, which is interesting. But obviously with this, um, any novice one to apprentice tier. So I'm going to try and make a wand and then basically, yeah, I'll upgrade it. And then I'll try to find some more spells. And it sort of means that like these ones are pretty useless for us because... Well, they've got like telekinesis on twice or three times or whatever, which, you know, we don't need. But uh, at least it's a way without an identifying scroll of finding out what we're doing. I have here the apprentice wand and you can see one of the spells is replenish hunger. Boom. Look at that. So I think it does from the wiki. It says uh, six, six haunches, which is pretty good. And then we have a pocket furnace, which is really random. But uh, you can see I've already I've been testing this. You can see I've got oak wood in my inventory. Bam. And I think it does like five items at a time. Uh, it will do hot bar first and then whatever else is in your inventory. So it could be a bit dangerous. We have Life Drain, which I haven't, I don't think I've actually played around with that um, properly yet, but I don't think I can do it without something to, well, I can do it without, oh, there we go, look. So, there we go, and that would basically, it would provide us with, like, it, it should basically uh, use... Well, life drain. It it drains the life out of that and gives it to us. Obviously, we're at full health right now, so it doesn't really do anything. And we've also... Oh, we've also got the homing spark, which should... Oh. I don't... I don't really understand. It just says it, it goes to, like, a mob. And there's another one there. Oh, no! So maybe... Oh, okay. How weird. I don't... <laughs> Fair enough. So it what? It now always goes to that. How odd. Okay, well that's not too bad, I suppose. And then we have a frost sigil as well, which um, I've I actually put... If we can get out of the trees... There's a couple of frost sigils here, and basically when something goes over that, they will activate the trap, basically. And it's a frost-based trap. Uh, so we've got another five, and these are the advanced, is it? Is that... no. Apprentice. Apprentice here. Now, the biggest, um, the biggest thing I've discovered is what are all of these? Uh, oh, I've got... how... I've, oh! Ah, now then, I did not realise that. So I put them all on this wand. Obviously, these are the things, the exact five that I put on the wand. It doesn't consume the wand. Ah, ha, ha. That is exciting. So actually, I could, if I upgraded this again to advanced, I could put all the advanced ones on and we could learn that uh, as well, which is handy. I didn't realise, and then presumably maybe you can, uh, no, you can maybe, yeah, there you go, look at that, that is cool, so you can hopefully then put different things on, that would be cool, so this got, a, this has just got a lot better, um, so that's, that's, an, that's another great um, discovery, but the actual discovery that I was going to say, if you come over to the blood chest, I just wondered, because it's got, it's got a bar, and this is obviously mana, but... Look at that. The mana can be used as blood. Blood mana. So that is pretty awesome that we don't have to basically keep using um, crystals for any of this stuff. We can use blood. We can totally use blood, uh, which is which is great because we have a lot of blood. Like blood is an easy, easy thing for us to do. So we have... A lot of potential spells here that we need to go through. So I can, I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to uh, go through some more of these spells because some of them are pretty useful. 
uh, and pretty grand. And um, the the hats, you can see, I presume that these give you mana as well, like extra mana. I, obviously, because we're we're sort of rocking the no armor thing at the moment, I don't think they'll be very useful to us. And I don't really understand how we get a lot of these. It, like the mana flask, I can't find anything about a mana flask anywhere. And uh, spectral armor, I don't know what that is either. So I don't know if it's been implemented yet. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any of those. A flaming axe looks cool. I, why can't I have a flaming axe? So there's a few things that might not be uh, completely implemented, but I am I really want to try to get some more spells. So that is quite exciting. I'm liking Electro Blob's Wizardry. I've got to say, it's a nice little thing, especially since we can use the blood from Evil Craft as well. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoy this. I've really enjoyed playing around with this little mod. Um, so we might do another different mod uh, next episode. I'm going to try and do a little bit more building as well. I'm going to keep doing a little bit of building here and there. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, a like or comment is very much appreciated. And the subscribing thing is as well. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Actor. This has been Alchemical Architecture. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye.